Alright, so my name is Matt, and I'm going to show you guys a few parts of Tamriel that uh, Skyrim has. It's pretty cool. Outside of Skyrim, there's several areas that have been sort of generated. Oh, of course, there's got to be a dragon reason doing this. But I'm going to show you guys Morrowind, and I'm going to show you guys the White Gold Tower that is a really low res texture, but for some reason it's there. Alright, anyways, back to what I was saying. Ah, you, if you ever want to check it out, you have to go to Riften and just head toward, head down this road. It's, it's really simple. Here, I'll show you. Here's Riften, and basically we're going to head to these mountains, and there's this little gap in these mountains. It's right now covered by, you know, clouds, but as we get closer, I'll be able to show you what I'm talking about. I'm pretty sure there's other videos that have been uploading, that have been uploaded, my bad, that show you exactly what I'm about to show you, but, you know, I decided to make my own video. You know, why not? And if anyone's wondering about the, uh, the wonderful color scheme that I have going on here, it's it's a mod that's downloadable. It's really easy, really small, hardly even a performance hit. It's called FXAA Post Process Injector. It's uh, probably one of my favorite mods. Makes everything look beautiful. I tend to use preset four. There's four different presets that you can choose from that allow for different color schemes, different shaders, but this one just makes everything look crazy nice. Alright, we're about to come up on the, uh, there it is, the gate, and there is an I and I tweak that you need to put in that I will add to the description so you can disable the borders so you can actually go through this gate, because normally you get to uh, a little bit closer and then you'll be stopped about right here and it'll tell you that you can't go any further due to the borders, but... With this I and I it's weak, it allows you to go in, and yeah, we're basically outside of Skyrim now. We are now in Morrowind. And I'm gonna do a little bit of cheating so I can get there quicker. Okay, so I basically made myself run faster, and I took Collision off. Now I'll add those to the description too if you couldn't quite see that as I was typing it in. Now, what you're looking at is a, it's about half generated past the mountain, there's nothing else, but this is Morrowind, not just Vardenfall and not just the Red Mountain, but we also have parts of the, um, the outer Morrowind, so it's, it's pretty neat, I mean, it's all low res, you can't walk on it, it's pretty gross, and, uh, but I just thought it was pretty strange that they'd add something like this seeing as the only way you could see it with the map is if you change your field of view to like 85 because when we go into the map you you can't see the mountain regardless of how hard you try to look but usually when the clouds are off and you set your field of view to about 90 it allows you to see the mountain oh there it is so Along with Vardenfall, Morrowind, you know, the goods, there's also the White Gold Tower, which I was talking about earlier. Now, to get there, that's that's right over here. It's probably going to take a while to load because I'm totally doing this on my laptop like a boss. Oh, okay.
Okay, wasn't that bad. So, we're just gonna totally scale this mountain real quick. Hold on, I think I'm going the wrong way. Nope, alright. We are now going into Cyrodo, and I thought it was pretty neat looking at the White Gold Tower, even though it's so resolution, it's 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 still pretty cool. Hold on, let me find it. I'm starting to get the feeling I went to the wrong area. Yep. It's over here. Ah, there it is. Okay, it just came into view. It's right there. And we're going to make our approach slowly but surely. Sorry about that wait. Uh, I'm not quite familiar with all the areas outside of Skyrim and exactly where they are and corresponding to the corners of the map. I'm pretty awful with direction. Now, if I were to go really high up and look down at Cyrodiil, it it uh, in relation to actual Cyrodiil, you know, Oblivion style Cyrodiil, it's pretty close. I mean, it's a really downscaled version of everything, so the landmass isn't quite accurate, but it's still extremely close. Now, I'm almost positive you can find pictures online because I have two. I show the two, so you can see exactly what I'm talking about if you really are that interested. But I highly doubt that. So. Here's the tower. It's it's literally just a tower. There's nothing else. Half a tower at that. And it's disgustingly low res. But there's no way you can see it in the actual game. I mean, there's all of these mount Ooh. There's all of these mountains in the way and it's just it's just strange that they put it in there. And for some reason my vertical sync is off, which I'm not enjoying too much, but I just thought I'd, you know, make a video to show you guys the cool things that you can see outside of Skyrim. So, um, yeah, this is my first video, and hope you enjoyed it.